and welcome back to Retrain Search's YouTube channel. I am Claire Brevitt, Customer Success Manager for Retrain Search, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can share a presentation with your clients via Zoom so that you can see your presenter notes, but so that your client cannot. Let's get going. So the first thing that you'll want to do before you go into the meeting is go into your Zoom room. Get yourself set up in your Zoom room. Go to your security and enable your waiting room. Because the last thing that you want as you prepare to deliver a retained pitch to a client is for them to pop up as you're getting yourself set up. So as I mentioned, look, this is going to be great if you are looking to present to a client over Zoom um, and pitch for retained work. And we really want to make sure that you can do that and be really articulate and concise. The last thing that your client wants is for you to be whittering on aimlessly, slide after slide after slide. So... Once you're in your Zoom meeting, you've enabled the waiting room, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your PowerPoint presentation up. Now, I've just got an example PowerPoint presentation here for you, the kitchen group. Here's my slide deck and my notes are underneath it. Obviously, this is not what we want to share to our clients. So, if you go from home to slideshow in your PowerPoint presentation, You'll see here that you have a series of options. Now, you may have a button that says presenter view. If you do, fantastic, click on it. Most people don't. If you don't, you're going to select play from start or play from beginning. And it's going to take up the whole of your screen. So you'll see at the bottom here, there are a selection of icons. You're going to click on the circle that has three dots within it, and you're going to see a series of, a further series of options. Click on use presenter view, and this is what presenter view looks like. Now, when you first open presenter view, you'll probably find that this gray line is a lot further over to the right, and this gray line is a lot further towards the bottom of your page make them a bit bigger so that you can see more of your narrative um, is what you need to do here. So once you're happy, you've got your slide deck in presenter view, you now need to get back to your Zoom room, but how? It's taking up the whole of your screen. Well, you need to use your keyboard to bring up the menu options on your screen. And the way that you do that, if you're on a Windows computer, hold down the Alt key, and use your tab button to move through the menu. Or if, like me, you're on a Mac, hold down the command key and use your tab button to go through everything that you've got open on your computer. Once you land back on your Zoom room, let go of everything and it will bring you back into your Zoom meeting. All well and good, I hear you say, but Claire, how do we share it? Good question. What you're going to do now is click on the green share button and what you don't want to do is share this screen here which has got all of your notes on it. Instead what we're going to do is go advanced portion of screen and share. Quickly minimize that and what you'll see here is that you are left with a green box. Now your client can see everything inside of that green box. So you just want to manipulate the corners so that you are only showing your slide deck and nothing else. So I'm pretty happy with that. So now when my client is viewing it from the other end, they can only see anything that's housed within this green box, but I can see everything. So I can merrily talk them through my pitch deck and they'll be blissfully unaware that I've got notes in front of me to keep me on track. Listen, I hope that this has been really useful for you. If you've got any questions about how to do it, it's not quite working for you, um, pop me a comment in the notes below and I shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.